Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is the end of the month. Holy moly, how did we already make it to the end of this month? I cannot even believe it. But here we are, we're at the end of April, and that means it is time for me to tell you what I've been drinking this month. And if you didn't know it already, I usually tell you guys like, Sometimes I drink beer, sometimes I drink whiskey. I mean, generally I'm drinking something throughout the month and it's not always what I'm reviewing my videos. Granted, yes, I do drink what I'm reviewing in my videos, but I also drink other stuff. So let me dive in and tell you about what I've been drinking. And I'm going to start off with telling you about something I haven't been drinking, but it's something exciting. It's my own. I have my own Glen Cairns. Really freaking excited. I don't know if you guys can see these, how good you can see these, but I have some Average Drinker Glens and I'm pretty pumped about them. I think they're really, really cool. I got them. Um, I don't know. I got them for Patreon because when you become a patron, you get these after a certain amount of time of being a patron of the channel. So I'm pretty pumped about them. I'm also considering maybe selling these to everybody. So if you're interested in getting one of these Glen Karens with the average drinker, there are some other things coming too. But if you're interested in one, leave a comment in the comments and let me know your interest level. I'm trying to gauge and see if people would even want one of these, but I love it and I'm excited because it's just the very first thing in the average drinker line and it makes me feel super excited about the future of the channel. So now that we got that out of the way because I think this is really cool, it's time to look at what I've been drinking this month, actually drinking. And I am going to start off with this beauty right here, Bardstown Disco 6. Not Disco 7, it's Disco 6. Because we just got this bottle not that long ago, sometime in the last few months, and I cannot stop drinking it. I absolutely love this one. It has so much cherry and so much cinnamon, and it's so much complexity that I really, really enjoy it. And we got the 7 recently. It's super, super good too, but we are drinking this baby down. I mean, it is, it's so good. I, I love it. I know Bill prefers the 7 over the 6, but for me, I cannot get enough of Disco 6. I just, I, it reminds me of Stag Jr. You can call me crazy if you want to, but this bottle does remind me of Stag Jr. I really love it, and I am so excited to go back to Bardstown in May. That's another thing that May brings. I am super jazzed because we are going to Kentucky Get to go to Bardstown again, get to go barrel thieving. It's gonna be a fantastic trip. Promise we're gonna recap it on the channel, but super excited and I love this bottle. Can't get enough of it. So that's the first thing. All right, next up we have the Penelope Architect. If you haven't seen my review on this one, and actually I have a review on Disco 6 and 7 too. You can check that out on the page, but this Penelope Architect, not only is it an awesome bottle, I love it, I love the baby blue. Like, it's such a cool bottle. I love the sourcing that Penelope's doing from NGP. Great stuff. This is delicious, delicious juice. Really, really enjoy it. I drink a lot of it because I wanted to give a really good review. I mean, not a good review, whatever it is. I mean, I gave a review on it, and I drink a lot of it because I, a lot, wow. holy moly. Sometimes I have to stop and slow down. I get my cart in front of my horse and I'm like, blah, 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 blah. and you guys are probably like, what the hell is she even saying? Okay, so I love this whiskey. I drink a lot of it. So that way I can give a very thorough, encompassing, all encompassing review of this bottle, of the juice that's in this bottle. And it's good. It's good. If you haven't checked out the review, check it out. I love the story behind this one. The story is that I got this bottle actually on the day Bill and I got engaged. If you haven't heard the story yet, probably told it a few times, but got this bottle that day. And it's special to me for that reason, because this was the whiskey that I drank the day we got engaged. And I don't know, it's exciting. It makes me excited and it's special to me. So that's what, that's one of the bottles I drank this month. Now it's time for another bottle. Put this little beauty down. And another bottle that makes me think of Penelope, which is also an MGP, is this baby right here. This is the Copper Sky 16 year light whiskey. Comes in at 140.4 proof. It's called the 16 Candles. 
Look at that. It's pretty cute. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I think this bottle is really super cool. And yeah, this is an absolutely delicious bottle. It's a pick that we got and we keep drinking it because we wanted to see how it compared to the Penelope light whiskey and it's super comparable. Obviously they're both sourced from MGP, but this one to me is even better than the Penelope light whiskey. I love it. It has some really nice, like it's warm, don't get me wrong. It's definitely warm at 140 proof, but it does not drink anywhere near that proof. It has so much flavor and so much complexity. And there's just this really nice, enjoyable fruitiness that comes through on top of the oakiness that I really love. So another really, really delicious bottle that I'd highly recommend that I can't stop drinking. I love it. It's so good. So good. Okay, now it's time to move on to the next thing. And the next thing is not whiskey at all, but it is something I drink. Oh. And that is this delicious Stone IPA. Wow, I just spit when I talk. That was really embarrassing. That was really, really embarrassing. Anyhow, this is the Stone Hazy IPA. If you guys like IPAs, you guys know that I really enjoy the Hazy IPAs. This one is delicious to me. It comes in at 6.7 alcohol. 6.7% alcohol, wow. I started thinking about whiskey for a second and I was like, 6.7 proof. No, 6.7% 6 alcohol. It's a cool bottle, or cool, see? I think about whiskey so much that when I talk about cans of beer, I'm like, it's a cool bottle. It's not a bottle, this is a can. This is a delicious can. It's nice, it's fruity and tropical and hazy and just, I really, really, really enjoy it. I think the can, Reminds me of totally, like that 70s show. That's what it reminds me of. I just enjoy this one. I like it, especially now that summer's here. It's gonna be time to be cracking a few more beers on top of drinking whiskey and smoking cigars in the garage because that's what Bill and I've also been doing a lot of. Um, usually on Sundays, we really like to go out to the garage now that it's kind of gotten warmer. We set out there on the, either that or the patio. We light up a cigar, smoke a cigar, have a pour of whiskey. Sometimes I drink a beer, but usually I'll drink a whiskey with him. We've noticed that we really, really like Smoke Wagon uncut, unfiltered with our cigars. So we've done some of that. So I'm sure that's gonna come in a video soon too, where I've probably drink a lot of Smoke Wagon just for that reason. But it's good stuff, really, really enjoy it. So that's really what I've been drinking this month. You got the Stone IPA, Hazy IPA, the Penelope Architect which I heard there's a second one coming out in this Architect series. So I'm excited. Haven't seen it yet in Colorado. Know it's coming soon. Then we have the Copper Sky. Light Whiskey Copper Sky is right here in Colorado, which is even cooler. Got to go up there and visit. And it's, it's a cool experience. They have some really great things that they're doing there. So excited to see more from them. And then we have the Bargetown Disco 6. Yep, the 6, not the 7. All good stuff. So there's what I've been drinking this month. I always tell you guys the last Sunday of the month, which is crazy because the last Sunday of this month is like the 24th or something. So it's kind of early in the month. There's like another little bit of a week after that. But anyhow, that's what I've been drinking this month. I hope you guys will tune in for more every month. And there's a new video out every Sunday, every Thursday, live stream on Monday nights. So be sure to check it out. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that. And as always, thank you guys so much for your support. I'll be back with so much more of The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>